Today, different kind of video from me. Over the last couple of months, we've been working super hard to bring you high quality videos and more videos. Hopefully you've noticed. Anyway, not only have we been doing that, but on the side, we've been searching for a new office to expand and fuel our growth. Well, today, I thought I'd give you a tour of our new space and talk about our growth plans. But before I do, we're gonna turn back the clock and give you a tour of our current space, the space that we've been making the videos that you've been watching. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go. Welcome to the existing office. So this is the space where we've been filming the videos that you've been watching for the last year or so. And it's actually a wing of my house because when I resigned from my job in New York and moved here, I thought I'd be doing the videos just kind of you know, chilling out, enjoying it, et cetera, et cetera. And I am enjoying it in all, in all seriousness, but I like to build businesses. I love growth and just seeing the potential of what we can do in this space. I, I, it's just exploded. So with that said, let me show you what we got and what's happened over the last year or so. So here's my office here that you're gonna see. You can see my MacBook Pro 16, my beautiful speakers here and the LG monitor I use. This was originally meant to actually be somewhere that I could go live. So that's where we have the light on the top there and the nice background behind, or it's just a nice working space. If you want me to do a desk tour again, comment down below because I can do that when I get into the new office and hopefully have cleaned up that cable management. Anyway, come around this side and let me show you what we got here. So this used to be a closet that doesn't have doors on it because there were some renovations happening to make it you know, as good as we can when I moved here to start working here. And we just never reinstalled the, uh, the doors. But what you can see here is a lot of our hardware that we're using to make some of the videos. The biggest change that we've made when we move here was moving to a NAS. So we have our Synology NAS here. And prior to this, we were actually using Dropbox to share all our footage between people working on it. And boy, it was rough because what you'd have to do is wait for the whole thing to be downloaded onto your laptop before you can edit. And some of our videos are almost like 200 gig. It would take forever. Plus, if you have multiple videos on your laptop and you have our complete B-roll library, it's terabytes. Anyway, by moving to a NAS, it was incredibly impactful to the whole team because now all our footage is stored right there so anyone working locally can use it. And we got a super cool video coming because because you can actually sync between these Synology NASs. So we have a second one here. So our people who are working overseas can have their own NAS that keeps all the footage there and just syncs between them and they don't have to use Dropbox, which is just amazing. Anyway, video coming on that. Here we have one of our mesh routers, Wi-Fi 6E. Again, if you wanna see a bit more of how we're using this kind of gear in our video workflow, comment down below, uh, it could be a fun video. So let's now take a look at the rest of the office that we've been working out of. So let's come out here. And walking down the corridor, we have more storage under here. We have a huge amount of storage in this closet where we store a lot of our laptop boxes. This was actually originally meant to be a second bedroom because I thought when I resigned from my job and did YouTube, I'd be doing it very casual and relaxed. I mean, how many YouTubers do you guys watch where they just make their day to day? They're doing like vlog style. It looks so relaxing. Even this video right now, guys, this is like the fourth time we've filmed it. Anyway, clearly, to grow and to do all the content we wanted, we needed to expand. So Ethan actually started here first and he was in the filming room, I was in the office, this was a second bedroom, but we needed more space. So we ended up converting this into a another room for the, for the, which is really the third room for the YouTube business, which is a second office. And you got Colin's back of his head here doing some editing, you got Taylor doing some editing over there. Uh, and let's now look at the main studio. Oh, actually, Ethan, we forgot to show people. Let's quickly show people this crazy wall of laptops we have here, just so people get to see just how many we have. It really is nuts. But you can see we're kind of at our max capacity in this space, right? We've already converted a second bedroom. The next thing I could do is convert the master bedroom, right? Then I would be sleeping on a couch. So let's take a look at the actual filming room. So this is the room you guys all really know and you can hear immediately the audio is much better right apologies about that before this room is sound treated that one isn't big sound dampening curtains all around we have sound dampening panels on the roof um, you'll know the set here beautiful looks fantastic we've got our a cam and our b cam with the teleprompter there uh, gosh we've done so many improvements ethan's ethan's behind here that since we moved to this space right originally we were using a teleprompter that sat on a mobile phone now we're using a proper ipad one um, again, we've gradually improved the acoustics of the room, but as you can see, we're really at our max in this space and we just had to move. And this is what we're hoping to get out of moving to an office. 
A, I'm hoping for more separation between the business and personal, which would be really nice to, to use my house as a relaxing sanctuary. But the big thing for you guys is the following, okay? One, efficiency. When we film right now, what happens is often we're filming A-roll, which is just me on camera or Sierra on camera, and Ethan, who's our cinematographer, is just kind of sitting around trying to find stuff to do. Maybe he's testing laptops or maybe he's just waiting. And by moving to an office, we're going to have two rooms for filming, at, at least, if not three. So we can actually do parallel processing technically here. The next thing is landscape as a noise. You know, in a residential neighborhood, everyone is doing their own landscaping during the week, which interrupts our filming. And oftentimes we'll get ready, we'll be ready to film, good to go, bam, landscapers. So we just sit down and wait. And then the third reason is just space. As you can see, we're really hitting our limits. We would love to grow this business. And you guys can help, you know, get subscribed, you know, help us out on Patreon or become a YouTube member, buy from our website, so much you can do. With that said, let's go take a tour of the office. Well, here we are, folks, at the new office. So this is the entrance where you just come in, and this space overall is about two and a half times the space of, that we had previously that I just showed you. Now, it actually feels a bit more than that because the space I just showed you had that kind of like long corridor where you lose square footage, where here we don't have that corridor. Almost every single bit of square footage is actually utilized. We have all the main rooms coming off from this central one. And once again, apologies, you know, this room is not meant to be filmed in, so it isn't acoustically treated. Anyway, you come in here, beautiful, nice entrance. We're gonna put one really big table here, big set of shelves behind for storage. And um, the person who'll sit here will probably be someone like an office manager or someone doing bookkeeping, you know, helping keep us on track, that sort of thing. Now, over to this room, we actually have two parallel rooms. They're identical on either side. We're gonna start with this one here. This I'm very excited about. Eventually, what we're going to do is we're going to have um, the script writers in here. Now, my aim is for people who are a script writer to really perform three main roles, right? To be testing devices like laptops, writing the scripts for the videos, and being on camera. I really want to make sure the people who are presenting you with information, you know, that you're watching on YouTube are the people who've actually done the testing. So they know how to emphasize, you know, what's important, what's not, versus someone just handed the script and who's a talking head. So this room, my aim is to have two to three script writers and testers in here working, right? We can fit two beautiful big desks here, two desks here, maybe some low shelves there to hold some devices that they're testing. And this is just gonna be a great spot so they can collaborate and talk. And eventually my aim is as we grow to have specialized script writers and testers and even people who their main job is something else in the company but then comes across to talk about their area of expertise. A good example would be eventually we wanna have an audio engineer. That would be a great person to run point on what laptop should you buy as an audio engineer or music producer because they know that skill set. And as I said, specialized roles, so hopefully we'll have someone who focuses on, you know, uh, laptops for productivity, laptops for gaming, that sort of thing. So let's now take a look at the other office. It's a parallel one here. And this one will be a great one to use for the business side of, of the channel. So as you guys probably know, we have a big website and my background is in building websites, whether it's the software development side or the product management side. And we really think with the website, there's just such a great opportunity. Like if you think about shopping for a laptop right now, if you go to an you know, most websites, you type in, hey, I want a laptop for this, gives you 300 results, they're not tailored to you, right? It's very hard to know which one should you get. There's tons of sponsored results, you might not see the real results to, to much later. So they're showing you results for, you know, what manufacturers want to present to you versus what's, what's necessarily good for you. And the other thing, of course, is reviews. A lot of the reviews are fake and all that. So we, we're trying to really revolutionize that with our website. And we're adding I guess at the core, something we're adding at the core is use case based shopping. So I'm looking for a laptop as a student, but I also game on the side and I also want to be able to create YouTube videos. So by having these use cases, we can present you with not 300 laptops, but here are the five laptops that are right for you. And then we can factor in the deal side, which is, hey, when are these laptops on sale? So when is the best time to buy and where should you go to get the best deals on them? So. Moral of the story, this room I'm hoping to use for more our business people on the website side. So let's move along and take a look at the next couple of rooms. So as we come across over here, 
is a room that we're very excited about on the team. So right now it's very hard to actually test our laptops for things like speakers, fan noise, heat. And the reason being is we're sharing a room. So if we want to test like the fan noise, we have to make sure no one else is doing anything on their laptops in the same room. Well, this is a smaller room and we're going to use it for storage. Plus there'll be a desk, a nice desk here by the window. We're going to put acoustic uh, treatment in the room. And this is somewhere where people can just come, close the door. They do their fan noise testing, the speakers testing, that sort of thing without being interrupted by everyone else or without having to tell people to put their pens down while they do their testing. So very excited to have this room. Let's take a look at the next room. So over here, this is the room I'm gonna claim for my office. And my plan is to put a very big desk along here and then some shelves for storage over here. And what I'll be doing in here predominantly, you know, my own script writing, and I'll have a couple of laptops here that I'm currently writing scripts on and testing, as I just said. And over here will be my video editing laptop. Now, Ethan, if we swap around, this is actually quite a long room. And what we're planning to do guys over here is put you know, a small meeting room table so we can sit here and have meeting rooms as well. So let's take a look at the rest of the space. Over here, we're planning to put some uh, chests of drawers here. And this will actually be storage, not for our laptops, but our filming equipment. And that's because right here, we have our two big filming rooms. Now, one of the biggest benefits of the space is we're solving that problem with the last one, which is that we can film you know, two different things at the same time. The first room is gonna be used pretty much only for a cam. That's when you see a presenter like myself or Sierra talking to camera. And what you'll see straight away is we've actually put a fake wall here and we've painted it the exact same color as the current set. This set will literally be identical. We're gonna have big shelves here, the tall shelves you've seen, two small shelves here. We'll have the TV right here, literally, you won't be able to tell the difference. We'll have the same table and we'll stand here like this, right? So let's now take a look at the other filming room. So over here, this is gonna be mainly for B-roll, our beautiful product shots. And what we've got here, we've got a lot more space. So you might've seen that today our, our product shots use a lot of sliders. So you'll see the, uh, you know, the camera sliding across, maybe there's panning and tilting. But because this is such a bigger room, we can actually put a jib here, which is kind of like a robotic arm, which will allow us to kind of have the camera move above the item we're filming and that sort of thing. So it'll be nicer. So unlike the other set, which you're filming at a flat wall, this one we've actually got a lot more space and we're planning to do a corner shot. It's kind of like a rule of thirds shot. So the angle will be like here and you'll see like a third of this and two thirds of the shot will be here. And we're planning to do just a much bigger set here, which will allow us to be more creative from, our, from a cinematography perspective. So maybe some shelves here, some flat wood, nicely lit, there'll still be a table here. So let's now take a look at the last room in the office, which is this room here. So here is our break room, pretty small, but we're planning to put you know, a fridge here, a break table, that sort of thing. Well, that's the end of our tour and I can't tell you guys how excited we are to be moving here. It just solves so many issues. It's gonna make us just mentally feel so good to have space, right? We have a separate room for testing. We have, you know, people can just spread out. We can add more people in busy times or just grow the business, which is very, very exciting. We have our two filming rooms so we can do two things at the same time. And we're not disturbed by having to put pens down and stop filming when landscapers come. So. There's just so many good things about being here. And guys, I just wanted to say thank you for being so supportive of the channel. I mean, we grew by almost 80,000 subscribers last year. And I think it's a testament to the effort that the team's putting in to just try and produce really high quality videos for you. We're trying to up our testing, our cinematography, our storytelling, so we don't waste your time. We tell you straight up what the video's about and then give you the details if you want it. And guys, we could only do that with your support. So if you haven't subscribed, please click that subscribe button. Please click the like button. Obviously it's something free and easy that you can do. If you wanna do a bit more, you know, become a Patreon member or a YouTube member, that would certainly help us out. And please tell your friends about our website. It's just such a great hub for laptop buying and we hope more people can see the benefit from it and use it. Go do something awesome with your day, folks. Until next time, I will catch you later.